Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Learning and Sharing. So from today onward, I'm going to start a new video series on particularly the basic terms and terminology of the geography. Because you know there are different terms are being used in geography. So we'll, we are going to discuss them and we at the same time we are going to explain them. So this video series is going to benefit those students who are being prefer preparing for the lectureship uh, examination of the test in the same time those students who have opted geography as their optional subjects and the students uh, who has who are been looking uh, looking for some meaning or explanation of some words or terms of everyday science because if you look at the course of everyday science which has been asked in the combined competitive exam most of the terms most of the terminologies or comes from the uh, geography so this is also going to help them so there are different concepts ideologies and some features also uh, there are certain physical features uh, sometimes they are being so confusing for the students uh, so I'm going to you know discuss them and also explain them also I'll also show to you the images and the process the way they are being formed uh, those features so ये जो वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज है ये आप लेके आपके लिए बहुत फायदेमंद है वो स्टूडेंट जो लेक्चरशिप की तैयारी कर रहे हैं वो स्टूडेंट जिन जोग्राफी जिनका ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट है कंबाइन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम में और वो स्टूडेंट जो एवरीडे साइंस पढ़ते हैं या जिनके लिए कभी कभी कंफ्यूजिंग होता है कि इनकी मीनिंग क्या होगी और किस तरह ये प्रोसेस बनते हैं सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग I hope you will learn lots of new things from it. These video lectures will be will be shorter and very quick. So because there is uh, there is uh, examinations very near, so I'm I'm I will try my best, you know, to come out with few videos on such you know topics. So I hope you will enjoy it. You will understand the things which I'm going to discuss here. So if you if you like my videos, please share. With your friends also subscribe it so you have a quick notification of my new videos new videos so let's go to the details of today's today's video lecture by by the way this is going to be a first part of the video the in the coming in the future there will be more videos so let's go to the details so yes yes now we are going to discuss in detail these uh, basic terms of uh, geography uh, number one is the isthmus. Uh, an isthmus, this is a physical feature. An isthmus is a narrow strip of a lane connecting two larger lane masses. An isthmus has water on two sides. So, isthmus is a physical feature, a lane mark, a lane features, which is being connecting, which is being connecting two larger lane masses. So an isthmus is water on two sides. So you have to see this. It is a narrow land, a narrow strip of the land which is been connecting two water bodies. So here is water, here is water. So it can be any type of water, brackish water or the fresh water. But it's been said, a, uh, it has been said that the uh, wider or the longer or you know bigger water bodies also here yeah. so we call them the isthmus to usko kehte hain ek chhota zameen ka tukra jo do bade pani ke un reservoir ko aapas mein mila ya unke beech mein ho to yahan pe aap dekh dekh sakte ho ke panama panama isthmus is a very famous which has been in american continents so it's been connecting so this strip of the land has been connecting north america with the south america and at the same time it is at the middle of caribbean sea and the pacific ocean so yahan pe pacific ocean hai yahan pe caribbean sea hai to unke beech mein ye strip hai land mass hai a land marks hai. number second is the bay a bay is a body of water partially surrounded by the land Yani ek pani ka ek uh, hissa, ek pani ki, uh, you know, is being surrounded by the land. Ek chota pani ka hissa ho, jo it has been surrounded partially by the land area. Jiske chow taraf, yani ke teen taraf se, yaan sides the pani mojood ho. A bay is usually smaller than, smaller and less enclosed than the gulf. Gulf 
जो फीचर है वो भी इस किस्म का ही है बट इट्स बीन स्मॉल ओदेनस सो द माउथ ऑफ बे वेयर मीट्स द ओशियन और द लेक्स इज टिपिकली वाइडर देन दैट ऑफ द गल्फ तो अगर आप बे को गल्फ के साथ कंपेयर करेंगे तो जो इसका जो माउथ है बे का इज बीन मोर वाइडर देन द गल्फ यू कैन सी हियर द इमेज uh the photo of the this feature land feature look at there this is we call the bay which has been partially enclosed by the land yahan pe dekhiye land area has been closed with that one uh so there is a famous very popular bay of bengal you can see here the bay of bengal here this is the water reserve water body here so from three sides are uh, uh, there is a land area there is a continental area uh, so it been you know so close to it's been covering it so we call that the bay there's another physical feature which is called the berth a berth is a flat top rock or hill formation with a steep side so as a feature jo which has a height which is a height but uh, the top is flatter one top is straight or flat or smooth and the sides are steep one sides are steeper so we call that the berth so this is a physical feature we call uh, uh, you can say the rock formation or rock type of feature is here so jiski jo upar wala hissa jo uski choti ho wo flatter ho aur uski sides se jo hai uske steeper ho so we call that the berth uh, we have another one is called the channel a channel is a narrow body of water that connects two larger bodies of water यानी कि क्या कह रहा है अ वेरी नेरो बॉडी ऑफ वाटर व्हिच कनेक्ट्स टू लॉजर बॉडीज सो दिस इज यू कैन सी हियर द फीचर्स हियर दिस अ वेरी नेरो पैसेज ऑफ वाटर व्हिच इज बीन कनेक्टिंग टू वाटर सो एट द मिडिल यू कैन से देयर देयर मेड बी अ लैंड मास और देयर मेड बी अ एनी यू नो लैंड फीचर इज हियर बिटवीन द टू वाटर बॉडीज बट द स्मॉलेस्ट स्टिप ऑफ दैट वाटर इज बीन कनेक्टिंग टू लॉजर बॉडीज सो uh the example can be here is the english channel so a channel is also part of river or harbor that is deep enough to let ships sail through to ya to ye channel it can be so closer to that con that uh, land area the continental area is here so it can be a harbor or uh, can be a port there where the ships can be you know uh, come in forth here so english channel is famous here Uh, you can see here this is the english channel has been you know so there is a there is a united kingdom uh, and there is a, a france is also here so france united kingdom so in the middle we have english channel so this is a north sea this is the atlantic sea north sea and atlantic sea in the middle so this is narrow strip of water been connecting atlantic ocean and the north sea so we call that feature the channel uh we have another one which is called the contour so what does it mean by contour contour is a line on a topographic map that connects all points with the same elevation so so you might have you know might have uh, seen seen the you know topographic map usually topographic map showing the elevation or you know elevated uh you know uh, features of the earth so what is in the contour line are those line uh, which have a similar elevation similar height जिनकी एक जैसी हाइट हो तो उनको कनेक्ट करते हैं सो मीन्स दिस फीचर एज द सेम एलिवेशन सो दिस बीन कनेक्टेड थ्रू द लाइन सो वी कॉल दिस द कंट्रोल लाइन कंट्रोल लाइन शो अगेन कंट्रोल लाइन शो द फीचर्स हैविंग अ सिमिलर एलिवेशन ऑन द टोपोग्राफिक मैप्स वी हैव अनदर फीचर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड मीसा अ मीसा इज अ फ्लैट टॉप माउंटेन और हिल it is a wide flat elevated land form with a steep side it is similar like you know the one we have uh, previously so yahan pe bhi hai is similar is a flat topped flat topped hill or the hill or the mountain and which has a steep sideness so it is being raised uh, you know the surrounding area but its surface its surface smooth and the flat सो कोई रॉक हो सॉरी कोई हिल हो कोई माउंटेन हो जिसकी जो चोटी हो वो फ्लैटर हो मगर उसकी जो साइड्स हो वो स्टीपर हो वी कॉल दैट द मेसा वी हैव अनदर वन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड द कोव अ कोव इज अ स्मॉल हॉर्स शू शेप बॉडी ऑफ वाटर अलोंग द कोस्ट तो एक ऐसा फीचर 
विच लुक सिमिलर लाइक हॉर्स शू घोड़े का जो पाऊ होते हैं उस केस को देखना हो इट्स वेरी वेरी क्लियर इट्स वेरी क्लोजर टू द कोस्ट यहाँ पे कोस्ट पे हो तो उसको वी कॉल दैट द कोव द वाटर इज सराउंडेड बाय द लैंड फॉर्म्ड ऑफ द सॉफ्ट रॉक सो यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज द वाटर बॉडी व्हिच इज बीन सराउंडेड बाय द लैंड एरिया बट मोस्ट प्रोबेबली दैट लैंड एरिया इज सॉफ्टर वन एंड और द सॉफ्टर रॉक्स सो वी कॉल दैट द को इट इज यूजुअली अ शेल्टर एंट्रेंस इनलेट ऑफ हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड मीटर फीट इन विट्स सो इट कैन बी यू कैन यूज इट इज इनलेट Uh, is a coast where ships can come and fall. Uh, so uh, the width can be hundred to thousand feet. So you can see here, this is the shape of the cove. Is a horseshoe shaped body of water along the coast. Yeah, be this can be the cove. So we call that the cove. Uh, we have a planimetric maps. Planimetric map maps. Kya hote hain? A map that display only the x y locations of the features and represent. and reprint only horizontal distance to yahan pe kya hai ke jiski x y location features zahir ho and it's only reprinting the horizontal distance it doesn't it doesn't show the vertical positions like heights uh, which is described topographic map aapne you might have seen in the topography maps uh, which showing the elevation of the features of the land mass land features or landmark but in in a planimetry maps uh, it's a, a you know two dynamic feature two dynamic you know maps which doesn't show uh, doesn't show the heights to yahan pe aap dekhe hame koi height nazar nahi aa rahi though we can see the features but there no uh, we can uh, you know judge the height of the feature so it's vertical vertical representation of the features here uh we have another feature which is called the lagoon a lagoon is a body of water separated from a larger body of water by natural barrier so a lagoon is a body of water separated from a larger body of water by natural barrier so it can be at the middle of any water reservoir big water reservoir which has been separated by any natural barrier any natural barrier can be anything and you know a gray a grass a rock uh you can say a forest or tree or anything it can be anything or you know reef coral reef or any anything is there so uh lagoons are separated from larger bodies of water by sandbars barrier reefs coral reefs or other natural barriers the word lagoon derives from the italian word lagua laguna lagonga laguna which means pond or the lake so a french word hai jiski meaning hai pond or the like so you can see here the image on the structure of uh, the lagoon here it is at the middle part at the middle of or center of the bigger water body so yes is also a lagoon is being separated from any natural barrier to yahan pe aap dekh sakte koi is so this is the middle part we call it the lagoon uh, the last one is the the international date line the international date line is an imagine line of demarcation of surface of earth they runs from the north pole to the south pole so it's a line which run from the north to the south which has been demarcating or dividing earth in two halves in two ways so actually the international date line serves a line of demarcation between two consecutive calendar dates calendar dates so what is mean that if you cross this line which is the middle middle of the earth it means you have cross a day so means you when you are being this part of the earth here it will be uh, you know uh, you know you are being advance a day here so you already spend a day here in this part of earth so if you cross here uh, you are being uh, you know exceeding or being uh, you know falling in another day you are proceeding to the so the line was established in 1884 passing through the mid pacific ocean and roughly follow the 180 degree longitude north south line of the earth so it's been 180 degree here 180 degree north and the south here it was established in 1884 1884 mein 1884 mein established we has been crossing through it has been crossing through the middle of the 
mid pacific ocean uh, it is located half around the world from prime meridian the zero degree longitude established in greenwich england in 1852 so greenwich is a line which is the middle of the earth uh, which was established uh, in 1852 uh, greenwich is is a, is a part or is the place in the england so east side of international date line is a calendar day earlier than the west side so here you are one day earlier if you are in the eastern side but when you proceed in the west side so it mean the the day has been completed so the east side of ideal is calendar day earlier than the west side despite its name is very important you need to understand that ye bhi aap samjhe ki despite its name the international date line has no legal international status and countries are free to choose the date that are observe that they observes to yahan pe kya kar raha hai in spite of this this has become a law or you know international you know procedure the most of the countries have been following here but is still you are free uh, to follow whatever you want whatever you chooses is your uh, your time zone your country so it's not compulsory on the country to follow this international line so the actual ideal use is not a straight line but zigzag round certain populated areas so yahan pe kya keh raha hai the actual line is not a straight one but it's in a zigzag form so it's been crossing at the different places uh, of this year sometime it's been crossing through the populated areas of the world yeah. so it was all about you know basic terms of geography i hope you understood you got benefit from it in coming videos i will bring more words and more terms for you it will be it will going to be very interesting for you so till then take care of yourself and also share my videos with your friends and also